In this video we see the protest. Afro man holding his hands up. The policeman pushes him away with one hand and lowers the mask from his face. With his second hand he uses a pepper spray. Another video from the protest. A police officer uses pepper spray on the author of the video. The crowd screams but the police push them further. There is a conflict between two women. Afro woman takes some object from the table and throws it at the woman sitting at the table. The woman gets up from the table and approaches the offender. The conflict continues, and at some point, when one of the women began to use physical force, pepper spray was used. A black woman begins to run around the establishment in search of liquid to wash the substance of the pepper spray from her face. In this video, there is a conflict with some local business, apparently a bar. Someone inside uses a pepper spray and the crowd disperses. An African-American gets out of a gray car. He approaches the reporters and starts a conflict. Why are you recording, bro? Back up. You said what? Wait, I'm easy. One I know, nigga. After attempting physical force, the reporter uses pepper spray and the man starts to run away. It's funny to watch how a few seconds ago he was formidable and strong, and now he runs along the street in complete misunderstanding. In this video, a black man arrived on his BMX. He took out a knife and pierced the bag of one of the visitors of the establishment. The man did not decide to leave the crime scene and returned to the table where the woman was sitting. Apparently, he grabbed her phone, but the woman was not taken aback and used pepper spray. The man threw away his phone and left the establishment. What do you think contributed to this behavior? There is no sound here, but based on the video, we can understand that there is a conflict between people. The woman uses pepper spray on the man, and then uses it on the woman as well. Call me another nigga. Call me another nigga. Hey y'all, watch this. This video begins with a man getting out of the car. Apparently the conflict occurred due to racial discredit. Given the fact that the woman is sitting in a wheelchair, pepper spray has brought her a lot of problems. Next time she'll think twice before trying to racially discredit. Call me another nigga. Call me another nigga. Hey y'all, watch this. In this video, a man is driving down the road at night. He notices something on the road and stops. It turned out to be a man. Now, go, look. 
Dude, you got you got somebody right here just blocking the road. I got it. Hey, can I ask why you're in the you're all right? Why are you in the road? I'm not in the road. I need H2O. Someone pepper hey, spray. Somebody pepper sprayed you? Do you have water for my eyes? No, I I don't have any water. I just but I mean, you're in the road, though. Can you hold my hand? No, I, I sorry, I can't. But I can, I can stay right hold here. Hand so you can get on the. If you can hold my hand, I get out of the side. I cannot see. Oh shit! All right, sorry. Hold my hand. Well, just stay right there. I'm gonna go around. Hopefully, the next person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. 